California years. really is out of the lowest drought category on the drought monitor. They're completely out of it for the first time in three years. Now, you go back 365 days of pocket of high-end drought. Was it just expanding across the state? You look at year-to-year -year comparison, basically, the epic moisture events that we had from atmospheric rivers to the record snowfall in California, the drought evaluation has basically been erased. But is the drought over for California? Jay Lund from the Center for Watershed Sciences at UC Davis joins us on Weather Command right now. California's recovery unprecedented, almost out of any category on the drought monitor, but does that categorically mean that a drought is over for Cali? Well, I'd have to say that it's very good news. We had a very nice wet year last year. All the reservoirs are full. We now have to worry a little bit more maybe about floods this year. But we, we still have some flood control space that we've reserved. The, the drought is largely over, but we still have a lot of legacy of that drought in terms of lower groundwater elevations in some parts of the state and some additional risk of dead trees and wildfires uh, into the future. Talk, talk a little bit about the below surface issues, because those are, are the things that still plague California. They're, they're the reason, the hanging chads, if you will, that we can't completely say it's over. Some of the other Western states also deal with this. What are those below surface issues? Because when people think about drought, they think we've had a lot of rain. I see the reservoirs running high, but that's not the complete story. Well, we, in our drought years, particularly when we have severe droughts for several years, we tend to greatly overdraft some of the groundwater basins in the state. Um, what are some of the expectations for California, you know, going into an El Nino season? Do we think a couple seasons in a row like this could make the huge difference? Oh, that'll always help. But we have probably 100 years of groundwater overdraft in some parts of the state. Um, and they, this definitely helps. But we have a lot of other things we have to do to, to make that back. One question I'm very curious about. We put a lot of pressure on Mother Nature, produce the rain, produce the rain. But is it all forecast or is there really a huge political piece of the equation that weighs heavy with water rights, you know, better reservoir needs that we need, holding on to the water like you talk about? It's not all the pressure on Mother Nature because we do have to be responsible, right, with the water we get? Well, the only reason it's political here is because it's important. <laughs> That, that makes a lot of sense. Uh, the decisions, though, that go along with it is some people don't understand that their political stance can really have a lot of weight in how the water is used. We just want to see it come from the sky all the time. But there are other issues at hand rather than just weather alone. Oh, yes, of course. There's a lot of economics involved. Most of the decision making on water in California is, is basically economic users that, you know, want to have crops to grow and and uh, water delivery to cities. So we, we have a lot of economics and therefore political interests in, in managing water. That's why we go to all the expense of, of building reservoirs and operating uh, canals and, and aqueducts. Well, fingers crossed that uh, Thirsty California gets a big drink as we head into the fall and winter months. Jay Lund from the Center for Watershed Sciences at UC Davis. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.